It's interesting how they market it as like healthy drink at the time. Yeah, right? <laughs> Who Good for known? life, you know? Who would have known the healthy drink that we drink now? It's like all sugar. <laughs> it's not good either. Hi, I'm Andrew. And I'm Dora. And we're Mr. and Mrs. K. We're a couple from New York that started this channel in 2021 to share our travel, food, and experiences. Follow us as we find new, interesting, and exciting things along the way. Next stop is Dr. Pepper Museum. Yep. So I think Dr. Pepper was actually invented in Waco. Oh, which, really? Yeah, which is interesting, right? And I think it predates Coca Cola by one year. Oh, really? Yeah, so it's old, technically older than Coca Cola. Uh, it's interesting, huh? I'm not a huge fan of Dr. Pepper. Yeah, I, I kind of like it. I like it when it's in a float. <laughs> Nice. Alright, let's check it out. Oldest. Oldest major soft drink, yeah. So I think it definitely predates uh, Coke. We need to get a ticket first. Let's go. Price of admission is $10 per person, and kids under the age of 4 is free. They also have military and student discount as well. And each ticket includes a free 12 ounce Dr. Pepper or a $1 off a small or large float. There is a retro tool too. We're in a year supply of Dr. Pepper. Wanna sign up? <laughs> uh, no thanks. Why is it not Diet Coke? <laughs> Let's start with a little history. Dr. Pepper was invented at Morrison's Old Corner Drugstore in Waco, Texas by pharmacist Charles Alderton, which included 23 unique flavors, which actually I don't remember reading exactly all 23 flavors, so I think they're keeping that a secret. Alderton then sold the recipe to the store owner, Wade Morrison, and changed the drink's name to Dr. Pepper. But they never explained why they called it Dr. Pepper. It's pretty crazy they thought that like, the uh, fizzy water, the, like seltzer water, was like good for your health. Like it heals you. <laughs> I mean, it does to help you burn. It, okay, all right. In this exhibit, you learn more about the Dr. Pepper and the Artisan Bottle and Manufacturing Company, with a ton of different historic soft drink bottles along with manufacturing equipment. This is where you get a glimpse of not just Dr. Pepper's history, but also history on some popular, some unpopular, and some failed soft drinks. This room also has a fascinating area where it takes you to the history of the building itself. Once this building became a museum, the bottling plant was neglected. And as the new owners did some digging, they discovered that there was a well completely filled with discarded bottles. Learn about how pure tasting water is essential to the makeup of soda. So you'll read quite a lot about artesian water here. It's interesting how they marketed it as like healthy drink at the time. Yeah, right? Good for known, life, you know? Who would have known the healthy drink that we drink now? It's like all sugar. Whoa, Dr. Pepper art. It's like in different languages too. Yeah. The second floor of the Dr. Pepper Museum exhibits the evolution of soft drink advertising through the years and around the world. This included advertising campaigns with vintage posters and items from different regions around the globe. It was particularly fun to see the evolution of Dr. Pepper and its reaches across different countries and cultures. The third floor of the Dr. Pepper Museum is dedicated to the former CEO, Woodrow Wilson Foots Clements, and the Free Enterprise Institute. You learn that Clements started as a salesperson for the company and worked his way up to CEO and continued to expand the Dr. Pepper brand. And the Free Enterprise Institute, where the purpose was to educate Texas school children and adults about the economic system of American life by using the soft drink industry as a model of the free enterprise system. All right, so now we're going to the second building. Yeah, we have a little coupon. Like a voucher, so for a drink. A drink. <laughs> I thought I heard, I thought I heard root beer float. Did I not hear that right? Yeah, I think it's like discount on the root beer float or something like that. I or like a that. float. Oh yeah, Dr. Pepper float. Yeah. I want that. 
Whoa. Is it a gift shop too? Uh, kind of, I think. Maybe we should go there first. Yeah, let's go here. This exhibit showcases some fun Dr. Pepper artifacts and objects the company used for promotional material. So you'll find like a car, model trains, skateboards, and more. Along with the liquid laboratory where there are live demonstrations through the day. Oh, it's just a vault door. <laughs> oh, I thought it was like a secret entrance to something. I thought so too. Oh, a hot Dr. Pepper. Devilishly different. Oh man. I feel like it's weird to drink hot soda. Hmm. Well, you know, uh, hot Coke plus lemon and uh, plus ginger cures your Coke. <laughs> Does it really? Yeah. Oh, interesting. I have to try it next time. Yeah, why did it stop? Because we were here. No. We scared them. Oh, Big Red. Mm. Have you seen Big Red? Like around? What's that? So the Big Red is a, it's like a, another Texas like only brand. Mm. Like you see, you'll see it in like H-E-B and like all these grocery stores, but you won't see it anywhere else in like America. Mm. It's just like a really bright red like drink. Oh. Yeah. Okay. And apparently this is part of Dr. Pepper? No, it was founded in Waco also. Uh, so Waco has like a lot of soft drinks. <laughs> it's like soft drink capital of the world. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Mm. Though I think Big Red is kind of really sweet. It's okay to me. I'd rather have Dr. Pepper. All right, let's get a drink. Okay, I want to float. I kind of want to float also. Let's see, hold on. You want to try hot Dr. Pepper? No, thank you. Oh, large floats come with a souvenir cup. Oh, okay, why not? Large float. So should we get two large floats or one large float? I think it's one. <laughs> Is this a souvenir cup? Then I don't <laughs> oh, want so, it. <laughs> it's so old school. Imagine, no, I'm pretty sure that is. That is? Oh, and I don't care that. <laughs> this cup looks very ugly. Souvenir. I don't it does like have, it. It has like... Okay, it doesn't have an original home though, <laughs> printed. So this literally look like one of those, if you go to like a Chinese takeout place right. or I like mean, it's a got, diner. Yeah, that's literally what it is. one of those. But I, like, I feel like that's like part of the charm, you know? I think it's just like, it speaks to the times. True. So that's why I like it. All right. <laughs> I got my... We both got the same thing. Mostly uh, pleasure of the drink. Mm -hmm. No souvenir. We have, we're a little guilty, so we have a diet. <laughs> yeah. Diet, like diet Dr. Not, Pepper. Not the real thing. Diet, but with ice cream. <laughs> Where's the ice cream? Oh, there it is. Okay. Mm, it's good. It's your it's average float. float. <laughs> I like the, I like this, like this diner style kind yeah, of like very table. Diner yeah. Style. Dr. Pepper is a soft drink that I enjoy from time to time, but one that Dora really doesn't like. But this museum was really fun. And I think we both gained a new appreciation for apparently America's oldest soda. This museum also has a few other experiences which we didn't get to do like make a soda, taste a soda, tours, and more. But these come at an extra cost. But seem fun. This is a nice piece of Texas and Waco history which I think whether you're not a fan of Dr. Pepper, you'll learn something and have a great time with the family. So if you liked our video, please give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to share and subscribe. We release videos every week. So we'll see you then. Bye! We out!